Alright, so we have hit up Ohrid. And Ohrid is this serene lakeside town on Lake Ohrid with over 300 different types of churches and monasteries. Oh! Okay. Alright, just need a little fine tuning there. Was it gonna pitch live music as well as the things that Orchid is known for? But it is known for its pearls. It is known for its wonderful architecture of monasteries, churches, and of course, a lot of natural beauty surrounding this place. Cheers! Cheers! What a great way! Mm. Start, ooh! It was really nice to start the morning in Ohrid in Macedonia. So there's this little stand called Fruit Box. And I got a green smoothie. Mm. Is that very healthy? Do I got a sticker? <laughs> What's inside the sticker looks like again? Uh, you said something. Sneaker. Yeah, but then there was something delicious as well. Yeah, a sneaker. Okay. <laughs> Mine has <laughs> spinach, avocados. Apples, ginger, lemon, really good kick to start the day on this beautiful lakeside town of Ohrid. So Ohrid is also a lake, the name of the lake in Macedonia that crosses over and shares with Albania, but it's also this very resort, tropical, the St. Tropez feeling town. I'll show you the view that we're just walking through right now. Everything is just so pristine and there's three, over 300 churches and monasteries here. So it's known for its architecture. It's known for having a nice break of this. Look at this sun, this weather. Look all the red roof houses behind them. And then this whole boardwalk what a view! What did you find here, Hussy? Oh, it's beautiful! I like the stonework. I love how no matter what nook or cranny I walk down, you end up with a different amazing view or a cool another nook, cool another spot in Ocred. Look, so these are the red tiled rooftops for the houses that makes this city just so picturesque. And then that's the Church of St. Sophia. So idyllic. I love how there's like fishermen all around on this boardwalk just fishing while we are right beside this beautiful stone cliffside wall of the outer town. And it's just very serene and relaxing to just take a stroll on this boardwalk and looking out into the mountains of Macedonia too. There's a way to climb all the way up and then walk up here. And even from up here, I can see how clear the water is right there. I love how it's shimmering. This place is absolutely breathtaking. Alright, you may be wondering, what is that right there? That's St. John of Canillo, which is this beautiful monastery that just overlooks basically the whole lake but it's built on this gorgeous rugged rock of a cliffside right here and this is the perfect spot along this high up top walkway to get a view of it so we're just relaxing here and this spot just 
is right outside of the monastery. Literally, the monastery is right in front of us. And the sea. Where's the sea? There's no sea here. Oh, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> that was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> I mean, the lake is right behind us. Because you know why? It just reminds me of the Aegean Sea. Like, that it feels like we're in the Mediterranean already. <laughs> Especially because it's a little cloudy, so you don't, not cloudy, but like hazy, so you don't really yeah, see the, the other side, the Danian side. <laughs> yeah, and all the little boats rocking in the water. Macedonians don't kill me. It does remind me of Greece. <laughs> but Macedonia, so beautiful. Lake Ocred. Ah, well, I think this is my favorite place out of the country so far. We haven't finished exploring the country, but so far. I don't know, I like the art of coffee in the mountains a lot. Oh, yeah, I know. I just I always... I've seen it many places. Yeah, I'm true. Kind of multiple places. I the art of coffee that we saw yesterday. Get smitten with every single place we go to <laughs> continuously. There's this restaurant right down there, and these people have just arrived to it by boat. Now that is the life. Alright, so this is the trout in prison. I'm gonna unwrap this. It's homemade pasta with parmesan, the trout. Ooh, it already smells so aromatic already. Wow, look at this. There's eggplant in it as well. And the trout is caught right here, lakeside, that we're sitting right beside. I hope you can see the steam. You can't smell the smell, but it smells so wonderful with the cooked eggplant, the tomatoes, and the parmesan infused together with the trout. We have here the eel. So the eel is served with eggplant and zucchini, as well as, is that rice you room? Yep. And the eel is caught in Lake Ocrid as well. Actually, when we arrived here, we saw a little boat with members of the kitchen pulling up fresh produce. Plot twist, the rice turned out to be potatoes and carrots soaked in wine. So we saw that family getting off that boat from up above and we were so curious about this restaurant. We popped down right after we explored the church and then we decided to order a few dishes. Mm. Wow. Tastes even better. And the smell. The more it looks. And that was already such a beautiful dish. Then of course we have this wonderful view. These cute little cars are everywhere in town. Alright, so this amphitheater right here, great condition, right? But it actually dates back to 200 years before Christ, that is. And it's designed in a classical Greek element. And it has quite a very beautiful view of town. But I mean, where in Okrit doesn't have an amazing view. It's a random building that we are passing by, but it looks like they're doing some excavating work. As you can see, casually, we have entered in an archaeological site. So this is the ancient city of Plauschnik. It's located on the UNESCO World Heritage List. As you can see, Beautiful. So this is built in the 9th century in the Orthodox Church. And it was built during the first period of the Bulgarian Kingdom. Right here! Before it was converted into a mosque during the Ottoman Empire in the 15th century. So, of course this site, well, it is under excavation. You can feel that it's such a very historical and spiritual place. Right now we're exploring 
the fortress of Samuel that is overlooking the town of Auckland and is one of the most oldest fortress in all of Macedonia for a very ancient city that means a lot but it's really cool because you can walk all around the walls like this and you have a really beautiful view of the lake and the village. I think you can see Albania from the other side too. Okay, after our whole day of exploring and going up and down the many hills, we are parched and we're back at Fruit Box and grab some new mm, yummy fruit juices to go. Right, it's cold or something? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Come in. I will. Nice. <laughs> You're lying. It's <laughs> <Super> nice. <laughs> Look how shaking you are. <laughs> oh, it's nice. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. So after exploring Orchid in Macedonia, we had just checked ourselves into Villa Kotlar, and Villa Kotlar is this really cute boutique villa right behind us and they're getting our rooms ready so they said just do the pool just jump right in and we're like okay so we're in the back and we're just gonna be chilling here and I think we're just gonna soak up as much sun for the rest of the day uh, this villa is owned by a very wonderful and kind Macedonian couple so it's really sweet that they just really welcomed us with open arms and look at this beautiful property and it keeps on going too there's gazebos in the back there's even like a little wood fire oven okay I'm gonna jump in now Checking into our room, look how cute it is. This is what we needed. And also, balcony views. Ah, yes. And this is the washroom. Casual peacock, so beautiful. We are in the Monastery of St. Nam. So the Monastery of St. Nam is actually about a 40 minute ride away from Okrid, the city. But it is on Okrid Lake. They actually overlook Okrid Lake on this plateau. And it's, it's quite beautiful. It's actually a lot more people here today because there was a wedding here. The location. You can see how clear the water is. It's gorgeous actually. It's like a vision, a dream. We got these candles to light up as good luck. So we're gonna light them up before going inside the monastery. Oh no, peacocks can harm you. And warning, peacocks can harm your children. We are driving through Galicia National Park on our way to Bitola, which is the second biggest city in Macedonia but look how up high we are from Lake Okrid we're basically in the mountains overlooking the lake beautiful and we're passing by all this nice autumn foliage look at this Over here. Yeah. Do you think 
Yeah, and then the obedience is 